Hey everybody, it's me, um, Maritza. Um, I'm doing a video today through my iPhone because I feel like the camera quality is so much better. So I wanted to talk a little bit about a few things. Um, so far my kidney transplant is still doing fantastic. I made eight years with it um, on September 1st. So that was exciting. Um, I wanted to celebrate a little more, but I didn't really get to. Uh, and that's okay, I guess. Um, the celebration already comes when I'm taking care of myself and being healthy, you know. Um, my next appointment will be in December, so I don't get to see the doctor until then. But some exciting news is um, I am going to Florida for my first time ever with my family. We're definitely gonna do Disney World. Um, I've never gone to Florida. I always just go to Puerto Rico, which is where my family's from and my boyfriend's family. And um, it's gonna be such an exciting trip. I'm super duper excited. I feel like as a kidney transplant recipient or whatever you would call it, um, I should continue to enjoy my life as much as possible because uh, you never know when something can happen, you know. Like, of course, I fear rejection. I fear failure all the time. Um, I fear dialysis. I wouldn't want to go back on it because I know how frustrating and miserable I was. Although, um, it never seemed like it because I would walk into the dialysis center like I owned the place and I'd be in a good mood, positive and everything. Because um, at that time, I had hope that I would get another kidney. Uh, now, at 31 years old, not that I'm not young, but um, I don't know, I get scared. Uh, I have such a young kidney. I was 23 when I received this second kidney, and uh, the kidney at that time came from a 14 year old. So it's a very young kidney. There's no reason why I should be failing as long as I'm really taking care of it and doing the right thing. Uh, aside from that, Florida is going to be so exciting. So be prepared for some awesome videos well i can't really say they'll be awesome for you they'll be awesome for me but you know i'll still post some um and hope that you guys enjoy it nonetheless uh now the thing right now that's happening is people are asking me this one big question over and over and over and i keep hearing it the question is when are you gonna have a second child yes I get it my daughter is three years old going on three and a half but as far as the second child is concerned that is not in the books right now um, I love children don't get me wrong I would love to have another child but when we go back to that whole kidney transplant situation it makes me second-guess myself because First of all, there are many complications that can arise from having a kidney transplant and being pregnant. I was lucky the first time, but I can't really say that I'll be lucky the second time, and that scares me. Um, so at the moment, it's not going to be in the works, plus I still have a lot of weight to lose. Uh, I'm very proud of how far I've come so far, like this year has been the year that I've actually lost some inches on my body, potentially some weight too. But remember this, focus on inches, not on the number on the scale. So I have not weighed myself. The last time I weighed myself was when I actually saw the doctor and that was probably in the summer. And that's when I was down to like 140 pounds. Um, that's still a lot of weight for me. I'm only four foot 11, so, um, I carry I carry it mostly in my lower portion so it doesn't really look I guess terrible but for me it's still a lot of weight to carry um, I feel good I feel energized I feel I guess thin or whatever and when I compare my photos because I do a lot of photo comparisons to see where the inches are coming off of I notice that inches are coming off so and uh, as you can see, I try to lift a lot of weights and do strength training. Um, it's very important to incorporate strength, strength training with cardio. Um, 
doing just cardio alone is not going to build your body. Um, you want your body to be your vessel. It is your vessel. So in order for it to be a strong and fit and comfortable vessel, you need to incorporate both cardiovascular exercises along with strength training. Um, anyway, so that's my life so far. Um, I really love my iPhone. It's really good quality as far as the camera is concerned. Uh, despite the fact that it has an internal battery, it's awesome and I really, really, really love it. Um, I guess that's it for now, but I will post again soon. Um, God, I do a lot of ums. <sighs> I had a teacher once in college. It was an uh, English class. <laughs> Yeah, it was an English course I was taking in college, and I remember any time anybody had something to say in the classroom, and they would use the word um, she would stop them in their place and say, uh. Oh, she also didn't like the word basically. <laughs> you know, like everybody uses the word basically all the time. So she was not a fan of the word basically or um. Because it's true, when you talk, you shouldn't be using the word um, although that's the way we process our thinking, I guess. But it shouldn't be that. This isn't the way that we should be talking. And if we have to think, we just look to the side, think, and continue talking. And we do have that issue where we want to just keep using the word um, where we don't really have to. And ever since I had her as a professor, not a teacher, a professor, um, ee, we did it again. I tried to stop using it as much. Although, it's just, it's just human nature right now. It's the word we want to use. So, anyway, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.